Hey fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video. It's another ColourPop video. We are doing a ColourPop first impressions of the new Crystal Collection. Now I know I'm late on this video, you guys. The collection is out, but a lot of it is sold out. So I thought I'd get my video out now. And then by the time it restocks, you guys can make your decisions on what you truly need from the collection. So it's not a lot of makeup. There is some makeup in here that we're going to try on and live swatch as we say on my channel. But there are other things that you really can't see, just sprays and such. So I thought I'd give you a first impression impression, a little sensory journey, if you will, where we'll see how it smells, how it makes me feel, if it changes my energy. Because a lot of this, again, the collection's built around crystals, and a lot of people believe heavily in crystals on how they can affect your mood, how they can protect you against certain entities and certain just vibes, negative vibes, things like that. So in this collection, there are four types of, I guess, crystal families, you can call it, designed around specific crystals. This is what the packaging looks like, and I really wanted to highlight this, you guys, because because I think it's beautiful. It's some of the prettiest packaging I think I've ever seen. I'm a sucker for packaging. I love that they look like geodes and crystals all around the box with this really pretty gold shimmer. And there's actually glitter like in the gold shimmer. So let's get started. I'm not going in any specific order. I'm just going to talk about each little, you know, segment, each little family, and yeah, we'll go through them all. So the first one I want to talk about is the Rose Quartz Collection. These are the three items that come in the Rose Quartz family of the Crystal Collection. You have a Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray, a Rose Quartz Crystal Liquid Highlighter, as well as a Rose Quartz Crystal Lip Balm. Whoa! You just see me catch that? Yeah, Shay. For all you lovers out there, Rose Quartz is known as the Love Stone. Oh, no wonder why I love it. Open up that heart shop and let the love flow. It's known for inspiring the love of beauty and imagination. Be a lover, not a fighter. Yes, I can totally get down with that color pop. All the items in this collection have been infused with crushed rose quartz and inspirited with actual gemstones during the production process. So that's pretty freaking cool. And again, this packaging is just dolling. By the way, sorry I look like a wet dog today. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this, you guys. How quaint is this little bottle? I just can't. I love that the product is actually tinted pink in there. I think that is just the cutest thing in the world. It says, shake me gently and hold me at an arm's length away for a beautiful face spray, spray, spray. Crystal priming spray. So obviously you guys can't really see if it's priming my skin well or anything like that. And I do already have makeup on, but I thought we'd just spray it. And again, go on a little sensory journey. So first I just kind of want to spray her into my atmosphere. Oh, what is that mascara on my lid? Damn it, Shay. I actually didn't smell anything. That's interesting. So it says it contains real rose quartz, apple extract for intense hydration, and as well as olive oil derivative for a dewy finish. Oh, okay, so this one's gonna make, I do notice a dewy, and I have no highlighter on you guys, and I do see a little dewiness added to my complexion. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, I notice a light smell now. I think I'm picking up on that grapefruit, but it's nothing intense. If you're sensitive to fragrance, I don't think this would bother you at all. I will say, I sprayed it onto my hands and it feels extremely smooth. I do see how there is some type of like substance on there. I could definitely see how it would prime because it doesn't just feel like water. There is a very smooth feeling to it. So that's interesting. Not heavy, but smooth. Hmm, rose quartz, I dig ya. I'm excited to use that as a primer. Next is the liquid highlighter in the rose quartz collection. Crystal Liquid Highlighter. It says, for a crystal-infused glow, use one to two pumps and apply onto the face using fingers or a brush. Mix me with your foundation or your moisturizer for an all-over radiant look. Hmm, okay. Again, this, like, packaging is really nice. Color pop. Like, dang, you're really trying to ensure that this stuff doesn't break over shipment, and I appreciate that, and I think my viewers will as well. Oh my gosh, there's so much shimmer in this. This looks beautiful. So here is what the bottle looks like. Again, super cute, fits into the whole crystal look that they're doing. I love the holographicness of the packaging, and then you have the little quartz there on the end. It's beautiful. Let's do a little pump onto my hand first, shall we, and see what that looks like. Oh, okay. I put way too much. I would say one pump is enough because this was two pumps and damn. I'm gonna really rub that in so you guys can get a good look at it. It has a very pretty um, gold and pink sheen. It's exactly what I would expect from like a rose quartzy highlighter if I had to envision one in my head. I'm gonna take a little pump here and now try it on my cheek, my little highlight point, so we can see what this does. I'm applying it on top of my foundation, of course. Ah, I feel like that gave me like a real instant glow. 
again, there's like such a like subtle dewiness about this. I mean, it's, it's, wow, that is really glowy. Don't get me wrong, but I love that it's not like a harsh metallic glow. You know what I mean? And there's no flecks of glitter or it just doesn't look too much. If I could describe it perfectly, I'd say if I was getting married, which I am, this is like a beautiful bridal wedding glow, I'd say. I could see how this would look beautiful in photos, but also on the skin. And it took like hardly a pump to get me to this level of doingness. I'm impressed. I was a little apprehensive on how these would go on. Fam, I'm shook. Next, let's move on to the crystal lip balm. I'm excited. So I don't believe this will be like a pigmented lipstick. I haven't looked at swatches or anything yet, so I really can't say for sure, but they do title it as a lip balm and not a lipstick. This says it contains real rose quartz, pure vitamin E to keep your lips smooth and youthful. Oh, look at this little ColourPop lip balm packaging. I don't know, I get excited when I see new ColourPop stuff I've never seen before. This is what the bottom looks like, that's the label. It is called Rose Quartz, simply. It's like a fancy lip balm, isn't it? Ooh! So here it is. It looks kind of white with that pink hue in it again. I had a little bit of lip liner on, so I just removed that. That is freaking beautiful. I didn't think that this would have any pigment to it at all. I didn't think it would show up as anything. Honestly, I thought it'd be quite sheer with maybe a little shimmer. It's a definitely, it lightens your lips. It looks bright and I love that pinky shine in it. It's really pretty. That is beautiful. I really, really love this and it feels comfortable. It does feel like a nice lip balm. It's a little thicker. I like it. I like it. I'm excited by this. Next, let's jump to the Amethyst Collection, you guys. This one also contains a crystal priming spray. Now, this one and the Rose Quartz are the only priming sprays. The other ones are actually setting sprays, which I'm excited to see. So this has a crystal priming spray, a crystal liquid highlighter, and then again, the crystal lip balm. I can't wait to see if that one really is purple. Or Amethyst, I'm sorry. Let's read the little information card for this. So this one says, Amethyst is a calming stone that opens the third eye and clears the mind, enhancing intuition and inner strength. Attract peace and balance in your mind, body, and spirit. For when you need a little quiet and clarity from your busy life, ohm, it feels good. Oh, that's funny, ohm. So here we have the Amethyst Priming Spray again, and it has a beautiful purple tint. I wanna compare it to our Rose Quartz. Here it is in comparison to the Rose Quartz, just so you can kinda see how they are a different shade. Not that that matters, but I think it's a nice touch. But let me get a sense for it again. Ooh! This one, yes, this one I, has more of a scent to me and it's lovely. Oh, I love this one. This one just, it really did, it feels like calming and like relaxing and like, hmm. You know how you can buy those sprays, like lavender spray that you spray on your pillow to help you sleep? I wonder, I know it's kind of a waste because it's meant for your face, but I wonder if you could do that with these on your pillow and just like have that lovely scent. I don't know. Again, it feels very smooth. There's this smooth texture it gives. So I'm excited to actually try them as primers. I'm reading the little back here. It has more information on here, which is nice. Again, it contains real amethyst crystal, honey cocoats, honey cocoats. What's a honey cocoa? Cocoa, cocotas, cocotes, cocotas. I don't know. From honey to give you a more matte looking finish. Oh, oh, and it is. It's dried down to feeling real like, you know when you use like a primer for your oily skin and it kind of has not a tackiness, but you can feel how it's drier. It really did dry down drier and it's not like a dewy finish or anything. It has dragon fruit extract and Punica Granatum and Citrus Arontium. Whoa! Color bop, you're trying to kill me here. Orange flower extract, <laughs> a blend of sweet orange and pomegranate to give you a smoother and more flawless look. I'm just obsessed with this smell. It really is calming. I'm excited by this one too. E Color pop, how did you do this? This is cool. And I can't believe there's like actual like crystals ground up in here. That's really freaking cool. I'm excited for this, you guys. Let's try the Amethyst Crystal Liquid Highlighter. So on the back it says for a crystal infused glow. Okay, same thing. Use one to two pumps to apply onto the face or mix into your product. They're a little tricky to get out the um, highlighter, but I like that. They definitely put this little cushion of cardboard in there to make sure it gets to you safely and does not break because they are really nice little glass bottles. Do you guys see the kind of lavender duochrome there, a little lavender shimmer, and comparing it to the rose quartz, the rose quartz is on the bottom there. So let's pop her on, shall we? Let's see what all the hubbub's about. Here it is on my hand. This is magical. You can see this is quite lavender. Amethyst, I'm sorry, I need to stop saying purple. It's amethyst. I really like how smooth it is. Let's bounce over to this cheek here. Do you guys, tell me if you can see that. Comment down below and let me know if this is showing up on camera because this looks just 
gorgeous to me. It definitely has that purpley hue, that purple vibe. Ooh! Let me know if you guys can spot the difference between the rose quartz and the amethyst. Again, I really like that I can keep layering it on and it's not disturbing my foundation underneath at all, which is always my biggest complaint with liquid or cream highlighters. Cool! Let's move on to the lip balm. Again, this one contains real amethyst. It has pure vitamin E to keep your lips smooth. Same little cutesy packaging. I really like how they do look like a lipstick. And there it is there. It's very subtle. Again, it just looks white and I can just see a very slight purple hue. Ooh! Mm, this one I instantly notice a beautiful smell. Again, I keep thinking it's cucumber, but there's nothing on here that says cucumber, but I swear I smell cucumber. It even tastes like cucumber. I love cucumber. Fam, I'm in shock. Like, I can't believe this isn't a lipstick. It's, mmm... It's making my teeth look a little yellow. I'll say that. In person, I feel like they look a little yellow. I did just drink coffee, so I don't know if they're like stained for my coffee, but it definitely, sometimes I get nervous for with lighter purples that, for that effect, so I would just be weary of that. But I think this would be so cool on top of like a real dark lip liner. Like it would just be like glowing, a glowing, glowing lip color. Mm. I love the smell. I love how smooth it is. It is comfortable. Obviously, I'm applying it very generously. I wanted you guys to really be able to see like the shade and everything. You don't need to concentrate it as much as I did. You could just have a really nice sheer layer and a little nice glow and you probably wouldn't notice anything about your teeth. But with the amount I put on, I do notice uh, just a little yellow effect. Amethyst. I don't know. I like the more I wear it, it's just growing on me. I can't stop staring at this glow. This is really pretty. I didn't expect it to have so much pigment, to have so much reflective properties. It's really pretty. Next, let's jump into the Aventurine collection. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this one correctly. I actually, this is the first time I've seen this crystal name. Aventurine, I believe it is. This collection actually contains a makeup setting spray and then also the same liquid highlighter and the lip balm. So I'm excited to try the setting spray. So this information card says, Aventurine is all about good vibes, better known as the good luck stone. It attracts positivity, creative energy, and inner strength. Perfect for the go-getter, it enhances success, growth, and progress prosperity into your life. Oh damn, I'll take it. Here's the makeup setting spray and you can see that beautiful green tint it has. Just because I'm a nerd, I like to compare it to the other shades. You can see it there in the middle. Rose Quartz is here and then Amethyst is right here. But again, those were the primers as this is the makeup setting spray. So I'm excited. The box says it has, cu oh this one has freaking cucumber in it, you guys. Cucumber water, lemon extract, and again that honey cocoa. Cocotus. I don't know that word. Derived from honey to give you a more matte finish. So this one will give you a more matte finish just like the past um, Amethyst collection did. So let's spray her on my face. Give her a go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Picking up on that cucumber. Oh, I smell that lemon. Okay, this one is refreshing. I like this, and it does say it provides more of a matte finish, and I don't see any glow that it's particularly giving me. It's, of course, giving me that kind of, you know, melted-in makeup look that setting sprays give you usually, but I don't see it really glowing as some of the other ones do, so that's exciting. I do want to spray it on my hand just to kind of feel... Oh, that smell. Yes, this one and the amethyst so far are the most, like, heavily smelling ones to me. Most fragrant, I guess I should have said. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And again, you get that kind of mattifying feeling with it, so that's really interesting. I'm excited to see that they're not all just kind of could have been the same thing, but they added, you know, color dye into it. You know, you don't know. You don't know with companies sometimes what the real science behind it is, but it actually feels like it does what they say. So cool. Not much I can say about this one yet because I haven't tried it as a setting spray to see how it holds up, but so far it feels nice. Let's move on to the liquid highlighter now. As you can see, I try to get it off as much as I can. I have a little glow left on my cheeks. You can't really see much of it anymore. Ooh, Shiver Me Timbers. Do you see that does have like a nice little green duochrome in there? It's like green and gold. It's interesting. Right off the bat, I see a serious goldish, greenish hue. Definitely fits the collection. Dang, that is green. It's definitely like a goldish green. This will be really fun around St. Patrick's Day, I think. You could use it anytime you want it, obviously, but just, you know, for a theme. What I'm learning is a little goes a very long way. You need way less than you think you need for these highlighters. I actually like this more than I thought I would. I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'd love a green highlighter on my face, but sorry, I think there's a ladybug at my window and I'm like really into it. I like it. It has a really, it does have that green 
tone, especially when I move in the lights, I can see it. But there definitely is some gold mixed in there so you don't just feel like you're green walking around. It's a really pretty greeny gold glow. I really like this. So there it is on the skin. That's pretty, again, giving a very nice glow and I do see the green gold kind of duochrome in there. It's really pretty. These are actually way more pigmented than I thought you would be, guys. I'm very impressed. Let's now move on to the lip balm. I'm excited to see this one. It's gonna be green. I know it's silly, but I love the color of the label. It's like a really pretty mint. There's what the balm looks like. Again, it's that same white looking lipstick, but it does have a hue of green through it. Mmm. I freaking love this one. It's such a pretty, it's not just like green, it's minty. It's really, really pretty. This could be, again, I could see this being so fun on different type of lip liners. And again, this is the green highlighter, the green lip. They're very pretty and they go together very well. I really like this more than I thought I would. We're on to the last collection, you guys, and this one is the Aquamarine collection, which I'm really excited about. I love blue. I'm a huge fan of the color blue. My shirt's blue. This, again, has the makeup setting spray, the crystal highlighter, and the lip balm, so I'm excited. Let's see. And the information card says, Aquamarine embodies the energy of the ocean and its crystal clear purity and calm, relaxing properties. Known for promoting mental clarity, Lord, I need this, and helps inspire truth and wisdom. Yes, let me see the light through you, Aquamarine. I could use some calming and some collecting. Oh, fun fact, Aquamarine translates to water of the sea. That's what they say on the inside here. And this one contains coconut water, apple extract for intense hydration, and then again, the olive oil for a more dewy finish. So let me give this side a spritz. Ooh, that feels extremely moisturizing. I know that sounds silly because like they're all kind of liquidy, so why wouldn't they all be moisturizing? But this one does, oh, it's cooling too. This one's nice. Wow, I really love that they each truly do what they say they're gonna do. It's not just like tinted water again, which was my, my fear. But this, and I, ooh, yeah, I notice a glow. Mm-hmm. If you like dewy, I think this one's gonna be your jam. This feels nice. The fragrance wasn't too heavy. It was very natural again, very just calm, serene, what I would expect. Let's now try on the liquid highlighter. This one is beautiful. I hope you guys can see that blue finish it has. It really has a really pretty blue shine. I'm really into this one. I love blue, like I was saying. So as we've been doing, I wanna do a pump on the back of my hand just to see what it looks like. Whoa! Woo! Do you guys freaking see that? That is blue. That is pretty. It's like very royal blue. It's amazing. There it is all blended out. That's gorgeous and such a glow, right? Okay, let's try it on the face. Ooh. Again, I am being very generous. I don't normally like blow my highlighter all the way down here, but I really want to get a sense of what it looks like on the skin. I'm shocked at truly how blue it shows up on the skin. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Look at that glow, you guys. That is glowing. I'm sorry I don't have like any other descriptive word. It is just freaking glowing. The aquamarine and the rose quartz are like my jam. In my opinion, they gave me the best glow for my skin tone anyway. Again, this is just on my skin tone. It can vary on you, but this, I'm just like, pow, like that is metallic. That is gorgeous. And again, I'm just such a fan about how they don't move around my freaking foundation like so many do. Lastly, let's try out the little lip balm that comes in the collection. Same great simple packaging, but very fancy for a lip balm. And again, it does look white, but you do see that blue running through it. Oh, frig, what is in my hair? Is that freaking highlighter? Jesus, Shay. I'm just shocked at how much even the lip balms are so glowy. Like everything is just so glowy. It makes me feel so special. I really like this. Again, you don't have to apply as much as I did with these lip balms if you didn't want it to be so like glowy and metallic. Before I filmed this video, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna show up. I don't know if I'm, it's even worth it to do a video because what if you guys can't see the difference? I thought everything would be extremely sheer and that it just wouldn't be a big deal. But no, everything is highly pigmented. And the sprays, I'm really impressed that the sprays really feel like what they say they'll do, whether they're more matte or more dewy. And the scents are really nice. And the primer did feel like a primer consistency. The makeup setting sprays felt more like a, just a light spray. Um, I don't wanna say water, but it didn't feel like 
the priming sprays, which is just really interesting. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm hoping I will have more ColourPop videos up in the near future. Everyone's asking if I'm going to live swatch the new Karuchi collection. ColourPop has not sent that to me, and they don't let me know when they're sending me PR or anything like that. So I've not seen it come through yet, and I missed it when I was on the website. I was in the freaking shower, and it was out of stock in like minutes, it felt like. So I was so sad that I missed that. If I do get it, you guys, I will of course live swatch it for you. As always, thank you ColourPop for sending me these things so I can share them with my viewers. I really appreciate that and I know we all have such a fun time doing these live swatching videos and such. So, so I really appreciate you providing me with these items so I can create content on my channel because it's just very nice of you. So thank you. I'm obsessed with this aquamarine, you guys. I can't believe this is still in stock. Seriously, pick this up. It's beautiful. I'd love to talk to you guys about this collection or just say hi in general. You don't have to have anything to say. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you could give me a thumbs up, that would be freaking awesome. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss more videos. I love you guys and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!